Uh, my name is Ryan Pack. I'm the CEO of Heiju, artificial reef designers. We specialize in developing purpose-built artificial reefs. Research shows that uh, artificial reefs promote more biodiversity and there's an increase up to eight folds uh, in terms of fish biomass compared to the control, uh, which is natural reefs. Natural reefs don't have the volume or the void or the shade that fish species are keen for and find the breeding ground safe. Some of these aspects that natural reefs don't provide, we can mimic that, we can actually provide more. So we say we are turning marine deserts into forest. That's, that's the idea. There is enormous pressure in our oceans at the moment. It's mainly driven by increasing uh, population, coastal development impacts, climate change, acidification. I've always been a person madly in love with the ocean. Uh, they are a critical part of the planet. It's the essential to our food security, uh, for the survival of all lives and our climate as well. You know, let's do something. Let's give it back to the ocean. It's time to plant trees underwater. So over the course of six years, we've done four to five projects. Uh, the biggest one being uh, of Western Australia. Basically square made of 200 by 200 meters and it cost around two million. The Sydney Offshore Artificial Reef uh, is made of steel and is a mega structure and uh, it's, it is 40 ton heavy, 800 cubic meters and accompanied by 60 ton um, concrete anchors. We spent average six months uh, during the site survey because we put a lot of efforts in uh, designing a sustainable artificial reef that will be durable for over 40 years. So the factors including the sediments, uh, the wave conditions, uh, we also need to find in the what this vicinity the natural reefs exist. A lot of thought has to be incorporated in the design when you're building offshore artificial reef. Yes, it can be quite stressful, when, especially when it comes down to deployment stage of the project. Uh, you really get one chance The best moment um, is definitely uh, post-monitoring. When you um, dive in these artificial reefs after three months or six months, and as you descend, the structures suddenly come into vision and you, when you see these marine lives um, calling it home, where it used to be desert three or six months ago, it gives me a great feeling of accomplishment and it is definitely the rewarding moment in these projects.